One of the biggest questions when it comes to training your abs is not necessarily what exercises to do, but when you should train them. We're going to cover that today, and of course, I'll even show you a few exercises. What's up guys, Jeff Cavalier, AthleanX.com. Ab training, in particular, when is the right time to train the abs? We're not talking about just the exercises here, but when should you be doing the exercises? And to me, there is a difference. We basically have three options. Before the workout, after your workout, or my preference, at a whole different time during the day. Carving out an ab time each day. Now why and how can we do that? We can do that because I'm not asking for a lot of your time. Yeah, I want it five to six times a week, but I only want you to have to dedicate five to ten minutes in that ab session. Now you know at Athlean next we talk about this six pack progression and how we should be attacking the abs. Lower, uh, lower uh, up, up bottom up rotation, obliques, mid range, and I'll show you exactly a routine to do that in a second. But when you do those, it's not a lot of time guys, but it's a strategic attack that you launch on your abs. And then by doing them at a separate time during the day, you're able to focus. Because I find that if we take the scenario of doing it before our workout, let's say we head to the gym and we're going to do legs. You know, we're kind of not really uh, giving, I think, the focus we need to to our abs in that pre-workout time. We're just kind of anxiously waiting to get to our legs so we can get our workout done and get out. Same scenario after the workout. You've just left it all on the floor. If you're doing Athlean X, you've done a 30-minute workout, 40-minute workout, and done a great job at high intensity. How much should you really have left to start doing extra ab work at the end? The answer would be not very much. Um, if you're doing it, especially legs, you know what a contribution hip flexors play in ab training, and we don't want to try to do that with fatigued legs and hip flexors. So you're going to suffer if you try to take that approach. So try to carve out a time during the day that you can do this separately and keep it consistent. Now, my favorite time, right before dinner. Why? Because I know I'm going to eat dinner every night. There's not a night that goes by that I try not to eat dinner. So if I keep that in mind and link it to my ab training, I'll do my ab workout right before I eat dinner and then go from there. And I know that I'm not going to miss. Now, all this being said, guys, if you can't do it before dinner or if you can't do it at your own separate time, then do it before the workout or after the workout. Because if the alternative is not doing it at all, I don't care how low your body fat is, you're not going to develop the muscle tone to be able to see your abs that's necessary. All right, so with that being said, let's show you one of those routines exactly like I talked about to give you that strategic approach, Athlean X style. So there you have it, another Athlean X style ab workout that you can add to your arsenal. And most importantly, see two things. Again, take this and put it where it works best for you. I have my time, I carve it out. See a time that works for you where you're gonna be consistent with it. And secondly, remember, notice the way we attack the abs. This is not just about choosing any exercises and then randomly hoping that they produce results. You wanna attack your abs in a, in a certain way. Again, following a specific order, if possible, to target your abs and get them to respond best. When your lower abs are fatigued, you still want to be able to have your upper abs functioning, and it gets a lot easier to do that if you approach them in the right sequence. If you haven't already, guys, head over to athleanx.com, grab the 90-day training program, get a plan. You know, have this as your plan, as your guideline to show you exactly how to attack not just your abs, but every single muscle group in your body, so that the end result being you get a lot more athletic looking, you get a lot more functional, and overall, you start to look and feel a lot better. I'll see you guys over at athletenext.com. In the meantime, 
Make sure you leave your comment below. Let me know what time are you training your abs and what results you're seeing if you've recently switched that up. And also, let me know if you like these videos. I'll keep making them, like you know, guys, two times a week. So anything you want to see, make sure you leave it down below. I'll talk to you guys soon.